This is my third video in my full review of the Arrow Garden. It's been two weeks since I set it up. Today, I'm gonna walk through adding plant food, I'm gonna give an update on the plant growth so far, and I'm gonna share a few of my thoughts about the Arrow Garden during the first two weeks. Stick around, this is In The Garden. Thanks for joining me. Whether you're a new viewer or a returning subscriber, I'm glad you're here. This is In The Garden, where I share tips and tools to help new gardeners be successful in backyard vegetable gardening. Today, we're inside and we're talking about the Arrow Garden. It's been two weeks since I've set up the Arrow Garden, so today I'm just gonna give an update on what has happened so far, share a few of my thoughts about it, and I'm gonna walk through adding plant food for the first time. Before I get started, make sure you hit that like button so I know you like the videos. And if you're new here, consider subscribing so you can get even more content to help you be successful with your garden. As soon as the Arrow Garden hit the 14th day after planting, it notified me that it was time to add plant food. On the front of the unit, in the display section, it says add plant food and then press the leaf button. The leaf button now that used to be lit up green is actually lit up blinking red so that you it really gets your attention so you don't miss when you need to add plant food. So that's really nice, it, it really alerts you well so you know that you need to do something. It gets your attention, you're not gonna accidentally walk by and not notice that it says something on the screen. The blinking red button makes it really clear that there's something going on with it. If you remember from my last video, this model of Aero Garden, which is the six pod model, requires eight milliliters of plant food at each feeding. That's two capfuls, so we're just gonna use the cap and measure in eight milliliters, or two capfuls, and add the plant food. The plant food gets added right through this little door on top of the Aero Garden unit. You just remove this piece, that way you don't have to remove the whole tray of seeds. And then you're just gonna add your plant food right through that little hole. We'll put this little door back on. That's all you have to do to add the plant food. Now to make the unit reset, to, know that, to restart the timer for when you need to add it again, you're just gonna push the red button. So you could see that was really easy to add the plant food. And as soon as we were done and we pushed the button, the front of the display, it reset. So now it tells us how many days since we planted and how long before we need to add uh, more plant food again. So it's really simple, it's really clear and there wasn't really anything to it. Um, next, I wanna talk about the plants so far. So as you remember, this is the herb kit that I'm growing in this in my herb garden. And it has basil and dill and thyme and mint and parsley. So far, the only thing that hasn't really sprouted is the parsley. And if I look down inside, I can actually see there is parsley sprouted inside, but it's just not coming out through the top yet. It looks like it might be having a little trouble finding the hole that it comes out of through the, the top of the pod. So I don't know if it's gonna find its way out or not, but right now we're gonna leave it alone. Uh, most of them sprouted within the first couple of days. The dill and the basil, all sprouted within the first three to four days. So that was really exciting and it, it worked fine. I didn't have any issues with anything sprouting. You can see that the dill has actually grown pretty tall already and the basil is really starting to take off. So those are really nice. Uh, the thyme is doing just fine and the mint is just starting to come out the top of the pod and we're just about to remove the plastic dome from that. You can see that I've removed the dome from four of the plants so far. It says in the instructions that you're gonna leave the dome on until the plant is just about touching it. So I'm still gonna leave it on the mint just a little bit longer, and the parsley still has a ways to go because it hasn't even come out of the top yet. But so far, I'm really happy with the plant growth. They've all sprouted within the time that they said they should, and they're all looking really good and healthy, so I'm really excited to see them keep growing and be able to try them out in some recipes when they're ready. Next, I just wanna talk about the Arrow Garden and some things that I noticed during the first two weeks. The first thing I wanna talk about is the light. The light is extremely bright. If you remember in my video when I turned on the light, it made my camera get out of focus and everything else because it was so much brighter than the lights in the room. And even now, it's still extremely bright even with all the lights turned on in here to record the video. 
When I first set it up, I, I set the timer to come on early in the morning so it would stay on during the daytime and then shut off at night at 10 o'clock at night so it would be off during the nighttime. I learned really quickly that the light is so bright that once it gets dark during the nighttime, I don't really want it on inside my house. It's, it's just overwhelmingly bright. So I adjusted the time to come on at midnight and then it stays on during all the hours while we're sleeping and then only on during the daylight hours. So it shuts off as the sun's going down. So that way it's not so bright in my kitchen in the evening time when we're making dinner and everything else like that. Cause it's just too bright for having just on your counter all night long. And one thing I wanna point out too, is that I had considered this would be a good option for someone to put like in a bedroom for maybe a younger kid that was wanting to learn about gardening. They could put it on their shelf in their room. But with this light being so bright, I definitely don't think I would recommend that. It would be too bright to have in a room at night while someone's trying to sleep. So just keep that in mind. Other than that though, the light is really good. Obviously a really bright light is good for growing plants. One thing that I don't like about it is that it has a lot of white LEDs in it and it only has a few red and blue LEDs. For plants to really grow well, they should have more like a full spectrum of light. So I would have liked to see more red and more blue LEDs in it and not so many white ones. And that putting those in there also would have helped keep the actual brightness down and it would have still gave the plants what they needed. So other than that though, it's working really well. You can see that the plants are growing well, so the light is working just fine for them. Next, I wanna talk about the pump. When I first set it up, I tried to run the pump to see how loud it would be and it didn't run when I pushed it. So I wasn't sure what was going on with it or if it was just super quiet. As I've ran it over this past two weeks, I've heard the pump come on occasionally, but it's actually really, really quiet. Unless you're right next to it and the room is really quiet, you're not even gonna know the pump is running. And it runs for five minutes every half an hour. So you probably won't even know when it's running or if it has ran at all. But if you, if you listen closely, you can hear it run. And I'll try to get a recording of the sound of it to put on here so that you can hear what it sounds like. Since originally setting up the Aero Garden, I haven't had to add additional water. The plants are still small, so they're really not using a lot, and I'm sure that'll change as they start to grow. But during this first two weeks, the water level inside the uh, reservoir has barely changed at all. It looks almost the same as it does when I first filled it up. So that's good. And as the plants grow, it's gonna need more water so that'll be something the unit hasn't told me yet that i need to add water so i'm not sure how that process works but i'm pretty sure it's going to be really simple as well as everything's been so far i can't imagine that having that water notification come up is going to be complicated or confusing in any kind of way so that's what i wanted to share about the arrow garden during the first two weeks so far i'm really happy with it i don't have any complaints really other than the brightness of the light and you have to have a bright light to grow plants well, so that's not really a complaint, it's just something that I noticed. I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen as it continues to grow and how these plants actually come out and how they taste once we're ready to start using them. So it's really exciting. As I mentioned earlier, this is the third video in my full review of the Arrow Garden. And I'll continue making videos and posting about the progress of it as it, as it continues going. But if you want to get more frequent updates about my Arrow Garden and the progress I'm having, follow me on Instagram. There'll be a link in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to get more content like this, make sure you subscribe so you can get all my latest videos. And if you haven't watched the first two videos in this review series, make sure you go back and watch those too. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.